Hi, Matt here, and on today's Matt's World DIY, I'm at Ikea. I love the store so much. It's so amazing, and you can totally get lost in it because there's just so much. So why am I at Ikea today? Multiple reasons. One is I wanna see what kind of new deals that they have. I also want to check out some of the return section and see if there's any kind of items that may be good for a DIY project. Remember, if you like this channel and you like what I'm doing in this video, please leave a comment below. Give me a like and subscribe. So without any further delay, let's get into the store. But before we go inside, let's say in this video, you're going to get four tips about how to make your IKEA experience great. And here's number one, plan ahead. Make a shopping list and have a general idea of what it is that you want before you arrive. Otherwise you may do some impulse buying. You'll notice that once you enter the store, there's gonna be very colorful displays of their seasonal items. This was one of them. It was a duvet cover and pillowcase. It looks very summer-like really appropriate for the season. And this was my first good find at $10.99 down from $15.99. The good thing is that they're fake and you don't have to worry about killing them. I'm going to talk to you more in a minute about this. But I was looking for some seasonal things for Halloween. I saw this really cool pillow cover here. Uh, it has three little skeletons dancing around. They also have these floral patterns which could also fit for the season as well and at a very good price. I love how Ikea also provides you with inspirational designs in their displays. This is one of the kitchen displays I saw. I thought it was really rather eye-catching, the contrast between the natural wood and the black. Ikea just does such a wonderful job combining their functionality and style for the perfect match for your taste. I also have a confession to make. I love opening the drawers whenever I go to the store so I can see how they organize their items. It's just so clever how they stack things in drawers and put things on shelves. And I also like this stainless steel topped uh, workstations that they have. Now we're going into the furniture area, the living room area, and my eyes laid upon this item right here. This I love this couch. It's a Kivik couch. It is so wonderful in that Number one, I love the materials that they use. They're so durable. And also I love the fact that you can unzip them, wash them if they're dirty, and you can put them back on the couch without having just a ruined couch or having to live with slip covers. Look at the price cut on this from 2049 to 1619. And this is a huge sectional. Another thing I love about Ikea's displays is that they'll oftentimes tell you how large the space is. Here is an example. This uh, room, has a dining area, has a buffet back there, has a living room set, sofa, coffee table, even a media area to watch television, occasional seating, and this is 295 square feet and they fit in so many things. I love how it gives you inspiration as well and I love that mirror. <laughs> Here's the sign that they usually have on in the room. It'll tell you what paint colors are being used, what the colors are and what the square footage is. I think it's great. These are actually the details for the room we're about to see right here. I love this dark indigo. It's a navy color of the walls. I love the photo gallery or the art gallery. They just really seem to pull everything together to create this real warm and cozy, homey feeling. And um, I, I like how they do design some of the things, but again, some things seem to get a bit busy but um, I understand that they're trying to really show off as much of their product that they can, but at the same time, it really gives you an environment that looks like it's a home and well lived in. Now this home, 335 square feet, it's the entire home. I could not believe that they put an entire home in 335 square feet. That's the size of a tiny home. And they did it by using all Ikea items, of course. Uh, they have storage galore in here. And they, um, they have storage behind the sofa, over the sofa, on the walls. And by the way, I do not like this color of the walls. It's just my own personal preference. What do you think? Tell me in the comments if you like this particular color or do you like something darker or more colorful? I don't know. Do you ever layer your rugs at your home? I personally don't, I've never done that, but they do it here. I don't know if it's because they're showing you samples or what, but um, I, I think in certain occasions it can work. Now, these this kitchen, I love the natural wood color. I don't like open shelves. I'm not a big fan of white appliances either, but I can tell that in using these lighter colors, it helps open up the space a little bit more. 
Now let's go into this little bedroom. The bedroom has a queen bed and it has shelves above the bed for storage or to put displays. I like the color of these walls and I love how they cluster light fixtures. Um, I like that, but I don't particularly care for the color of those. If they were white, I think it would be fine for me, for my own personal taste. And then here you have, uh, if you don't have built-in closets, this is a nice closet option. Um, I think, I'm not sure if that's the PAX unit or not, but it works. And then here's a tiny bathroom. I think it's great. This is, it makes, whenever you're looking at this, it looks as though I could live in 300 some odd square feet because they have everything you need and not a lot of extra that you don't. As I came into this area of the showroom, here's something I almost bought, this little table. It is marked down from $64.99 down to $40. And I really like the natural wood color. I think that it would work in my space. I have so many side tables, though, I just don't need it. I love how they also have the bracing on the bottom. And one of the things I was thinking about is if I didn't like that color or I wanted to change it up, I could because that wood would take paint very well. And they just have tables, tables, tables galore. And they're not shy to show you everything that they have. And here was another item I liked, but I couldn't find a price on it, so I just left it. Do you need a chair? They have a chair for almost every taste at Ikea. This is one that I like. I think it would be a nice little chair for your patio, even though it's an indoor chair. I like the hairpin legs and I like the super large seating area. It's $269 though. I think it's a little high price. I really like this kitchen. I could almost see this in my home. I like the light colored uppers and the wood colored lowers. I like how they have that bench up against the island, the very large island. You have storage everywhere and they're utilizing every inch of space for the needs of the quote unquote family. Here I am opening drawers again. I had a house that had a pull out trash been before and I miss it so much. I wish I had that again. I was actually thinking about adding that to my island that I have now, but there was no way for me to do that. And another thing I love are slow closed doors and drawers. When I installed my new cabinets in my home, I made sure I had that and it's a dream come true. I absolutely love it. And 42 inch uppers are the way to go. And this one for 158 bucks is not such a bad deal. Okay, I'm gonna take you to literature class. Do you know what foreshadowing is? It's when you talk about something that's about to happen under cabinet lighting. This is actually about to happen in my home, so keep on the lookout for my DIY on installing under cabinet lighting in my home. Hopefully it'll turn out as nice as this. I know I'm a walking contradiction when I say this, but I love dark colored furniture. I also like light colored furniture, so there's my contradiction, but I love this buffet unit. It is really high end, and you can tell from a $649 price tag, it's really one of the higher end items that they have at Ikea. There's that nice slow close on the drawers. And then it has this sliding glass door unit on the bottom with the glass shelves that keeps things kind of open and airy, but keeps all the dust out. I like this piece. And here's another living room. I just love this. This is a nice brighter room. I like the ochre or yellow gold colored curtains that they have, the mirror. I love that display unit, all the glass. Now there's kind of a, two different schools of thought of do you want all your stuff showing or do you want to close it off? I naturally tend to rather it closed off, but that's a personal choice. And I love this white kitchen as well. It's beautiful. I love how bright it is and clean looking. Storage in your closets. Ikea does a super wonderful job of making things like this PAX unit for your wardrobes, for your closets and customizing it. I love that it has drawers that are solid and drawers that are ventilated, as well as that is so clever. You can have a little drawer for things like glasses or jewelries or neckties, and you can still see from the top because of the glass top. So super cool, really a nice piece. And the customization is through the roof. They have tons of different door options and also options for organizing your drawers. 
I would love to have something like this. I just don't know how to get started. And it's not too terribly expensive, about 20 bucks for these inserts you put into your drawers. Okay, 30 bucks. <laughs> Okay, here's my tip number two when shopping at Ikea. Take breaks. It can be overwhelming over here, so don't hesitate to go take a break in the cafe and, uh, you know, refuel and relax. While I was going over there, I found this nice little nugget. These are some duvet covers with uh, pillowcases that they're clearing out from 20 bucks down to 10 bucks. I thought that was a super great deal, and they also had some uh, marked down pillow covers as well really nice options but i actually have all of these <laughs> now we're going to take a look at some glassware we have glass storage containers these cool bottles i have one of those that i have my vanilla that i'm making at my home and there are also all kinds of other storage containers that are made of glass and then here we have our glassware these are some nice i think those are maybe Back in the day, there you can make highballs in them. I think this is barware stuff. So there's beer mugs and highball glasses and this nice, I don't know if it's a wine glass. I would put uh, some chocolate pudding or chocolate mousse with uh, nice whipped cream in these. That would be a nice serving glass for that. And look at these. I didn't think these were still around, but these working glasses, super awesome, real heavy duty and only a dollar 59 each. What a wonderful deal. Now I'm looking at these wine glasses. I think these are so stylish and they're very on trend these days. If I didn't have my wine glasses already, I would definitely pick up a few of those. And here's another one of my obsessions, throws. I love throws and I love bedding. And this was a real nice one. I love the way that felt. It was like a super soft wool. But because I already have enough throws in my house, I don't need to buy another one. And for $35, it's not too terribly bad. Here's another one. I love throws that have texture. That knobby kind of uh, knit is cool. And then here's one that has like a sweater knit. I don't particularly care for this rose kind of color, but I, I like the white one and I think they have a gray one as well. And those are $24.99, not too bad. Let's move on to lighting. Lighting, lighting, lighting at Ikea. For $59.99, a $60 find, this is a floor lamp that it looks like it's fabric, but it's actually some sort of a plastic shade. If that works for your style statement, I think it's a pretty good deal. Here's some lamps I thought that were really interesting and you have a dark option or a light wood option. I think they're super awesome, but they do have a rather large footprint. So you need to make sure you have the room in order to have this in your space. Here is a modern design light that I've seen actually on Amazon as well. And I think it's for around the same price of $99, a hundred bucks, something like that. So that was just like a straight tall one. And here is one that's kind of in a offset U shape. I thought that was a nice change of pace, a nice little difference in that design and for an additional $30. I really, really like this lamp but it's super expensive. It has a glass shade inside of a glass shade and it's super heavy, 350 bucks roughly, um, with a stone, heavy stone base so that it doesn't tip easily. Here's a great find that I found in the rug section, $100 off on this rug. I think it would be super amazing. I can just imagine how that feels on the bottom of your bare feet. Now it's time for tip number three, and that is measure twice, buy once. Always measure your space before you purchase any kind of furniture or rugs. This ensures the perfect fit and will avoid you having to come back and do any kind of return. This is, I say this as we head through the warehouse and we're on our way to my favorite place, but I saw these cool plants. I think it's called a mother-in-law tongue or steel plant. Not too bad. Uh, and then right next to it were these pots that were, they are actually, uh, uh, terracotta pots that have been glazed and it's a really high quality. I thought this was a super good buy for only $12.99. Now let's head to our return section. I can't wait to see what I find. The first thing I saw were some rugs. I don't need rugs, 
but sometimes you can find a really good deal. And now I had to find a place to put my cart because I wanted to walk through the clearance section, clearance section, return section on my own without the cart. While we're looking at some of these clearance items or returned items, let me give you tip number four, which is have an assembly strategy. If you're not a DIY pro or a, a, an enthusiastic DIYer, consider using IKEA's assembly service or invite a friend over to help. It can make your life so much easier and you can enjoy your pieces a lot more quickly. I actually worked for TaskRabbit where they are one of the outfits that Ikea uses to assemble furniture for their uh, clients, for their uh, customers. And I've done a lot of Ikea assemblies for myself, for TaskRabbit, and also for friends. Uh, now, I saw this vase. It looked like a pretty good deal, but it, oh, let's see, what was the price on this? Uh, 13 bucks from 19, not too shabby. <laughs> These kangaroos were kind of cute looking too. And uh, I, th I saw those apples over there to the right, and those would be good for maybe someone if they wanted to give that to a teacher or something they could have on their desk. And uh, here's a little clock you can plug into your computer. It's a USB powered clock from 24 to 10 bucks, this shower head. And it's a it's one that you it's a handheld and you buy the, the hose as well. Really good deal. Uh, some colored bottles. If you're into that, that would be nice. I also saw this kitchen faucet fixture. Uh, it it's like, wow, you cannot beat this deal. I don't need one, but for $54.99 down from $86 is a really good deal. This is something else I almost bought. These huge posters. These, the smaller ones are $5. The larger ones are $10. I can't remember what the size is, but they are big. It'd be great if you're doing like a backdrop for a vlogging channel or something, or if you're just like having to do a lot of Zoom meetings, that'd be cool. Or if you just want a large space. This one, the world map, perfect for a teacher. As I was walking out of this section, I saw what I think needs a drum roll. This is almost $500 off of a convection oven. It is one that you put, it's a built-in type that you put into the wall. They had four of them here. I think three were stainless uh, and one was black. What an amazing price, 800 bucks for something that was 1349. If you have any kind of renovation project going on at your home or you're just looking for extra or some new updated appliances, don't forget to check out their return section at Ikea. Now this is going to wrap up my little trip to Ikea, but I thank you so much for joining me. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also don't forget, I think I've got a DIY project coming up next week. Okay, I will see you guys next time.